Hi there ladies, it's Manisha here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a nail art um, using some She Modern products that have been kindly sent to me for review. I'm going to be today concentrating on these um, pearlescent shimmer powders that she's got. So I've got the colours gold, purple lilac, pink rose, blue and I've also got one of her translucent um, um, glitters which this one happens to be the blue green colour. And I'm also going to be using, um, this is a Born Pretty Store um, Chameleon Flaky, so I'll be using that as well. I'll have all the um, product information for you down in the description box below. You're going to have to excuse my voice because I'm not very well at the moment and um, got a bit of a head cold and a sore throat, so my voice is a little bit croaky. So I do apologise for that and I'll try and speak as clearly as possible. So I'm going to be using um, She Modern's new water decals. So she's got foil de um, foils that she's done for a little while now um, and she's recently released them as a water decal version of the, um, the foils. So these are used like a traditional water decal but you do have to cut out the images that you want to use. So I'll be using that and also her mixing canvas and um, this is the design I'm going to be working towards. I don't, I sort of um, have sort of had a bit of a play and this is what I've created. So this is the design I'm going to be working on today to um, on my nails. So you'll see how I do that. Um, I've also already got um, a couple of coats of Mavala Slick Opal on my nails and that's fully dried. I will be using um, Sesh Feet and just a cheap top coat that I have. So this is just one that is the Daiso brand, but any other cheap top coat will do. Um, this is just so you don't contaminate your good top coat. And I've got a secret weapon on using these... Um, these shimmers i've tried a new technique and i've um got a like a sort of water uh, a border pen sort of thing that you can you can actually add water to it and you use it with watercolors um but i'm going to be using it with these powders and what i've actually put in there is a um some alcohol or um, isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol depending on where you're from that's what i've put in there so i will leave a um a link for the seller that i purchased this from on aliexpress it does come in a pack of three so there's three different sizes there. There's um, small, medium, large. I've used the medium size there, but they do come in a pack of three. Now, this, they're very cheap. I found them very affordable and um, very, very easy to use. You will need a dropper or a funnel or something to get some isopropyl alcohol in there. Um, but the seller that I bought, bought it from shipped it out really quickly i was very impressed so um so yeah you'll see me using this today as well so i will speed up the next part of the video um but i will do a voiceover explaining exactly what i'm doing and then i'll meet you back at the end of it so sit back relax and enjoy okay so i'm going to just start off by decanting some of those um shimmer powders onto that mixing canvas so you can just tap the bottom or give the bottle a little bit of a squeeze don't squeeze it too hard you don't want too much to come out because a little bit does go a long way so i've got my um painting brush ready and it's got the isopropyl alcohol and you just sort of can get a little bit out by squeezing the the tube of it sort of the barrel of it if that makes sense so you don't need a lot a little bit does go a long way and i'm basically just dabbing it into the powder and then attack um, dabbing it onto the nail as you can see and um, you can clean the brush off by just squeezing a little bit more um, alcohol out and then just wiping it on your tissue so I just have like a paper towel or something like that handy you can blend the colors a little bit too if they're still wet but they do dry pretty quickly um, and that's the the best thing about this is you're not waiting for it to dry it pretty much dries almost on contact um, you can sort of thin parts of it out by um, adding a little bit more alcohol as you're going you, you just need to really practice with this I didn't need to do too much practice but you do need to do a little bit of practice and um, just get a feel for the brush itself now as I mentioned before there is a large and a small size I'm just using the medium one that's in between um, I just found that was the only one I used and I was happy with it and so I didn't need to adjust to go wider or um, narrower. 
So now I'm just gonna go over the parts that I've already done to darken parts that I wanted to darken. Um, I wanted a bit of a like a blended watercolor look with this um, you know this design and um, but there was no sort of set pattern I was following I just did what I felt looked really easy on the eye and I'm just going back to my powders that I've got on the mixing canvas and just adding a little bit more alcohol where I need to just to be able to pick them up again and have them in a wet state as you can see it's really easy it's just like coloring in and um, you know there's no real um, difficulty doing this um, you can sort of the only thing that you might have trouble with is if you do flood your nail and use too much alcohol but as I said because it dries pretty quickly um, it, you're not really going to get into too much um, you know like trouble with it um, now that gold I'm actually adding it just a little bit thicker so what I've done is I've gone back into the gold and I haven't really squeezed out any alcohol from there so there's still sort of a little bit of wetness on the brush and I've just picked up the powder just to darken those areas um, I just wanted that gold to sort of come down down the nail so now I'm just going to really speed up the next part of this video and just show you me doing all of my nails and um, like I said before there's no set pattern to this I'm just doing what I like the look of but I'm just showing you that she doesn't actually take that long to do all of your nails I just took time on that thumbnail because I wanted to show you the detailing involved um, and see how I'm doing this first layer is quite um, sheer and, and thinner and lighter you can just leave it like that if you want to but I just wanted to darken it and that's why I sort of went over it a couple of times so you can add the colors in whatever order you want to um, the brush will have staining um, on it but it doesn't affect how it works at all I did try sort of dunking it in alcohol just to clean it but I found that it wasn't going to come off so I, I'm okay with it but I am just going to let you know that that's what will probably happen with your brush over time so I'm just adding more and more layers here and there where I feel like there might be gaps or I just want a little bit more color now as I said this dries really really quickly so you don't have to wait ages for it um, and I just use my cheap top coat I didn't want, want to contaminate my sesh feet or anything like that and I just ended up using that um, cheap top coat that I had like always whenever you're using powders and pigments just double check the brush before putting it back in the bottle um, because you don't really want to um, you know dirty up your um, top coat or anything in any way I'm going to add a little bit of the um, glitter and the flaky so this is where I'm adding my cheap top coat so I'm just sort of floating the brush over and I'm going to clean it so I've just sort of wiped it off camera there um, before putting it back into the bottle now because I've got a wet surface on my um, nail I'm just going to add the glitter onto that wet part there and it's had a few minutes to dry and now I'm adding the flakies and I'm just sort of pushing them down you can see I wouldn't be able to do that if the nail was really wet but the flakies will stick to a dry polish as well so that's that part done there I'm just going to do the same thing on all the other nails so I've already done the, um, the glitter off camera and um, this is just me adding the flakies on I just like adding things like flakies and glitters because it just adds more depth to the design and you'll see um, when I finish it what I mean. So that's just a second coat of that cheek top coat going on just to seal that in because I am going to be using the water decals. Now whenever I use water decals I just use a cotton round in the base of a shallow dish and I just wet it just you know sparingly until the cotton round is actually wet and then I actually take my water decals now with these ones you do need to trim around the edges so choose which ones you want to use these koi fish are really um, you know really really pretty I am quite drawn to fish and things like that so I'm just going to select the two or three that I need and um, now I'm just going to go in a little bit um, closer with the you know the trimming of it now I don't know whether you noticed on that sheet that they are facing two different ways and that's really great because you can use them sort of both facing down you know like towards a nail tip or you can have them sort of in a circular pattern and things like that or you can do a mirror image you know you have them all facing one way on one hand and then the other way on your other hand so you have actually got that um, you know option with these these foils 
so I'm just going to give it another bit of a trim. So that only take a few seconds in the, and you can see that other one's starting to curl. And so by the time I've cut that second one, the first one is ready to use. So I'm just going to attach it straight onto the nail and just going to pat it down. Now I'm just going to cut in to the method here, um, you can kind of see on camera what I'm doing but I'm going to mention just to stay till the end of the video because I am actually hosting a giveaway and um, this is kindly sponsored by She Modern so thank you very much Tina for sponsoring um, yet another giveaway, there's been several that she's um, sponsored here very kindly and it's going to be five US and five international winners and um, yeah so just check all the rules down the bottom now I've learned another trick I sort of had a bit of a, um, a test run with these off camera and I found that with these black foils I could actually just use my regular top coat on them and um, I don't like to use um, fast drying top coat like Sesh Vic straight onto them but it is nice to be able to use just your, your normal cheaper top coat and then go in with your fast drying one after everything's dried and that's basically the design done so definitely um, enter you do have to be a subscriber to my channel and to she moderns YouTube channel but I will list all the other um, rules and things like that down below for you so definitely check them out she's actually got some new foils that are um, non glossy so they're actually a matte foil so I've got some of those coming out to me and once they arrive I will do a video just showing um, the benefits of them so this is for either the foil the original foils or these water decals or the matte ones so you're going to be entering for any of those you can choose your own prize from the extensive range that she has available and once again thanks to she modern for sponsoring this and um, thank you very much for your generosity and i hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day